All right, ready? Two, go. Just alpha clothing tees. All right, the hoodies. We got tees. We got baseball tees. We got uh, this is the alpha clothing. This is the the collaboration with me. The don't touch tees. And then I got my own brand shit coming out. Look at this pole, bro. Look at this. If I turn it like this, it's like a shotgun. Like Claymore, 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 Claymore. All right, we good. We good. Make sure y'all hit up my Twitch streams at twitch.tv slash aftermath. We lit. We got the Beats Kicks for your headsets, for your gaming headsets, and for your Beats Kicks. I mean, your Beats. They're called Beats Kicks. And on top of that, we got stuff. We got headbands like Naruto. Claymore. 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 Yeah, my room's lit, right? Look at that. See y'all at the gym. Check this out, man. We finally gonna do some leg. I don't know when the last time I put a leg video up. But I just might just do some squats. That's probably it. And then do some other stuff that's non-leg. I don't know, man. Like, I think I just gotta come in and just start getting some squats back in and then, like, push back into, the, like, the leg stuff. Because the leg stuff I've been doing lately has been more of, like, an athletic stuff, like, performance, like, whoosh <laughs> Shit like that. It's like Sonic, you know what I'm saying? Not like... I haven't been on my Russ Swole, SSJ Bob grind lately because I just don't feel like I'm just not in that mood right now. Usually around this time of year is like my bench deadlift mood. But hell, I ain't even been deadlifting, but I ain't deadlifted since KC, the KC video. And that was like a couple weeks ago. That was like two weeks ago or something. So that being said, let's try to get back into the leg grind because I was all about that leg day every day, you know, for a minute. And... I kind of kinda like. Okay, ain't nobody trying to lane legs. I said lane, I said train. I, I keep fucking this up, let's go. NBS slingshot, Mark Bell, 10% off, code aftermath. If I, feel five, if I feel six today, I'll go six, but I ain't gonna push it. Why? I don't want clips. My shoulders are crazy tight. Hey, getting back in the squats fucking sucks, yo. It does. Like, you gotta think about it. Like, I gotta squat my own body and the weight, you feel me? Like I know the weights make it easier for my body to go down stuff, but it's like, it's like I don't feel like I'm squatting 315. I feel like I'm squatting like four something. And like, it's like such a full body exercise, man. You know? Like you, it requires everything. It take out everything from me. You just be sitting there like, you squat, you sit down and like, yo, like, is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Hey, hippo's dangerous as fuck. All 
All right, try to do two sets of five with this. Pick a card, any card. Pick a card. I'm out here tripping. Mental shit, bro. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey. So, I actually need to start squatting. The reason why I'm mainly squatting right now is because we got the uh, Generation Iron movie that me and a few other strength guys are in. And I realized I've been slacking on this. So I need to pick it up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, really kind of push myself with endurance as well. You know, when it comes to weight training, like I'm good with endurance if we're like sprinting or something like that, cool. But like constant weight training, get under some heavy weight and like really pushing myself. I'm trying to keep my, my rest times a little bit shorter than usual. Uh, I'm kind of forcing myself to start a little bit earlier before I'm like fully recovered before each set. Because this, this tournament of power pretty much, it's, you know, heavy weights, reps as fast as you can against your opponent. So. That's what I'm getting ready for right now. I was supposed to be doing the one ton challenge, which is all maxes, clean and press, snatch, squat, bench, and deadlift. Uh, one ton is 2,000 pounds, which I have. 2,000 pounds is easy. Out of five lifts, for a fact. You know what? Like this video, comment below, one ton challenge, if you guys wanna see that video. Since I'm not able to go to New York and do it, I can do it for you guys. Like this video. Let's get like 2,000 likes, bro. We've been kind of slacking on likes. I don't know what's going on. And I, I have the right to say that. Because I'm making the content. For free. You feel me? But I love you. I used to have some clean waves. My shit was fire. I used to put beeswax in my shit. <laughs> that should have had your waves. Silky. I always see light-skinned dudes with braids or something in high school. Always had hella hair. I knew they was coming back. I know I'm about to get some clippers and cut my shit. Alright, I have to feel it that rap, but I'll go up. That's why I stopped doing this shit. Left knee, boy. Squat the knee. I'm not gonna rush him. I'm just gonna go back and forth for the two sets. Two reps, four or five. Until I get accustomed back to the heavy lifting and the squats. Try a front squat a little bit. What? Hey, what you weigh right now? I don't know what I look like at a buck seven. Yeah, if I can get to 210, bro. Hey, I'm trying to get to 210. After the strength thing, which is why I stopped cutting, I'm going to really try to get to 210, bro. I'm, I'm going to quit with all the heavy, heavy weight lifting while I'm ahead. We got this Black Friday sale going on for Alpha Clothing. All right, code black. Go to the link in the description. Use my link uh, just so we can keep track. Um, that's in the description. I'll put it in the comment section as well. 30 to 70% off stuff, you know, first thousand orders will get a free hat, uh, limited edition, there's only a thousand of them. And, um, you know, there you go. So, that being said, go check that out. You know, I got the drip, we got the fire, we got this on the site. Y'all already know, y'all remember the drip video? You feel me? So we got these, not the knee wraps. And, uh, yo, we got 30 new items coming out as well. Um, we're dropping for you guys. So make sure you grab that, link in the description once again. And now we're gonna do some front squats. Probably do like a couple sets of 10 reps. Haven't done front squats in a while. Nope. Left knee's bothering me. That's the thing. Left knee's bothering me. I stop. It's not to the point to where it's like crazy. Like I can still do the reps, but why risk that? You know what I'm saying? So that's why you guys have never seen me injured. Cause I know when to just say no to this. I'm not gonna push that. 
Yo, even with football training and stuff. Like if I have somebody tell me I need to do something, I'm gonna be like, yo, I was dead ass serious. I got kicked off the team and shit for a lot. But she's like saying no, like yo, I can't do that. And it's not, it's not me bitching. It's not me like complaining. It's just like, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like if I continue on, you know how coaches, they're like, they don't really know how hurt you are, how, you know, the feeling is. They just want you to just keep pushing yourself and blah, blah, blah. It's like you're bullshit. I'm not the type of person to bullshit. I love training. I love being in pain, getting stuff done. But when it comes to small stuff like that, any ounce of small injury, and it's probably could be worse because I got these knee wraps on. So imagine if I didn't have them and I took it off and squatted, I bet you the feeling would be worse. So this is somewhat covering the actual tension or whatever that I could be feeling um, without them. And if I can feel it slightly with them on, then I feel like that means I need to stop. If I got, you know, elbow pads or something on while benching and stuff, and I got elbow pain, then I need to stop because the, the, the sleeves don't work no more. They're not working no more. Just to prevent the elbow pain to happening. But once you get to that point, you can't really use them to cover it up. Like it just goes away. It doesn't go away. Just like when you use ibuprofen, you know, stuff like the painkiller stuff. The pain is not gone. The, the, the job of the medicine is to cover the feeling, those, those nerve endings, the feeling of the pain, like it's not there, even though it still is. So therefore, you can still be damaging your body because now you're mentally like, oh, I don't feel the pain. I think I'm good, and you keep going on. But once the ibuprofen wears off, then that, that pain comes back through. And then what do you do? You start relying on that, that uh, equipment or the pills to, to mask the, the pain so you can keep going. You need to stop doing that, just recover. Just sit down, recover, and find something else to do. Simple as that. Like, a lot of you guys are just, just really damaging yourselves for no reason, thinking that these things are just quick fixes, and there's no quick fixes. You need to find out what the problem is, whether you need to chill out, or whether it's too serious, you need to go to the doctor or something, and, and just relax, bro. Like, recover. Stay recovered, stay healthy. And I only do stuff if I have a better chance than 50-50, right? I don't do anything if it's a, like, if it's a 50-50 chance I fail at it um, when it comes to like, my crazy stuff. Like squats and bench deads, yeah, for sure. Um, I'll do anything. I only got like a 10, 10 to 20% chance of getting it. But I still stay in my lane when it comes to these things. So stay safe, y'all. We still going to train, though. I mean, some upper body shit, pull-ups and all. I can set the team, 45 pounds. Mm -hmm. Set to that. Ah. Yeah, I have fucking beans and beanie weenies. You eat beanie weenies? Anybody ate beanie weenies? Cool, black man ain't talking. We're done, I enjoyed today, had a little fun. We just kinda came in, get some squats in, get some pull-ups in, have some fun with the gym crew, you know what I'm saying? We still out here working, they still in here working. Uh, the reason why I came to the gym actually is because I accidentally left, I was mad at my team in Apex on ranked, and I got a hour and a half penalty of no, no gameplay. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> Yo, I was hot. Like an hour and a half, really? God, I forgot that's the new thing. You get penalized for that. And I'm like, yo, you can't do nothing on the game. So I'll start playing with MK and hey, follow my Twitch at twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath. Copy some alpha gear, copy some beats kicks, some creative lab, headphones, you know what I'm saying? But hey, watch out, bro. Peace. Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when